Hello everyone, Gerard here, back to you with another tutorial video on taxation. On this video, we're going to be talking about how to compute annual income tax for pure business income earners. So for quick navigation of this video, here are timestamps. Now I would suggest that you pause or slow down the video, particularly in the portion of illustrative problems. So let's begin. To start off, let's have some key terminologies related to the conduct of business for those who have little or no accounting knowledge. So first off, gross receipts, which refers to the total amount of money or its equivalent representing the contract price, compensation, service fee, rental or royalty, including the amount charged for materials supplied with services, deposits, and advance payment. So gross sales is the total sales transaction net of VAT, if applicable, reported during the period without any other deduction. However, gross sales subject to 8% income tax rate option shall be net of the following deductions. Sales return and allowances for which a proper credit or refund was made, and then discounts determined and granted at the time of sale. For self-employed individuals whose income solely comes from self-employment or practice of profession, wherein their gross sales or gross receipts does not exceed the VAT threshold, shall have the following options. First would be using the graduated income tax rates under Section 24A of the tax code as amended. Second would be 8% on gross sales or gross receipts in excess of 250000 Now, this is in lieu of the graduated tax rates under Section 24 and percentage tax under Section 116 of the tax code as amended. Now, in order to avail of the 8% income tax rate, the taxpayer should signify their intent of the election in the first quarter of the percentage or income tax return. If the business or the practice of profession just commence, it shall be in their initial quarter. Take note that the option is irrevocable and no amendment option shall be made within the taxable year. Now, what if I did not signify any intent? If that would be the case, income tax shall now be computed under the graduated income tax table and I am also liable to pay 3% percentage tax. Take note that the 8% option is not available for VAT taxpayers and also for other percentage taxpayers under Title Number 5 of the tax code as amended. What if I exceeded the VAT threshold during the year? If that would be the case, I will be subject to graduated income tax rates and given a tax credits for the previous quarters for income tax payments in relation to the use of 8% income tax rate. In addition, I will now be subject to any applicable business taxes. So I'd like to mention that those taxpayers who did not opt for the 8% and did not hit the VAT threshold, they are required to submit their financial statements as an attachment to their income tax return. Conversely, those taxpayers whose gross sales or gross receipts exceeded the VAT threshold, they are required to submit audited financial statements. So let's go to our illustrative problems. The taxpayer operates a convenience store while he offers bookkeeping services to his clients. In 2020, his gross sales amounted to 800000 in addition to his receipts from bookkeeping services of 300000 He already signified his intention to be taxed at 8% income tax rate in his first quarter. The computation shall be as follows. Notice that the combined amounts of gross sales and gross receipts did not reach the 3 million VAT threshold. In our illustration, the taxpayer is a pure business income earner, therefore could avail of the deduction of 250,000 per section 24A of the tax code as amended. So based from the option of 8%, the income tax shall be based on combined amounts of gross sales and gross receipts. This is also in lieu of graduated income tax rates and 3% business tax. In our next illustration, the taxpayer failed to signify intent for the 8% income tax rate. The income tax due shall be computed as 10000 using the graduated income tax rates. Aside from the computed income tax, the taxpayer is also liable for 3% percentage tax under Section 116. Let's go to our third illustrative problem. 
the taxpayer signified his intention to be taxed at 8% income tax rate on gross sales in his first quarter income tax return. He has no other source of income. His total sales for the first three quarters amounted to 3 million, while fourth quarter sales of 3.5 million. Notice that the gross receipts exceeded the VAT threshold of 3 million. Taxpayer shall be liable to pay income tax under graduated tax table. So the taxpayer shall be allowed an income tax credit of quarterly payments initially made under the 8% income tax option computed net of the allowable deduction of 250000 granted for purely business income. He is also liable for business tax in addition to income tax. For this purpose, the taxpayer is required to update his registration from non-VAT to VAT taxpayer. Percentage tax pursuant to Section 116 of the tax code as amended shall be imposed from the beginning of the year until the taxpayer is liable to pay VAT. Note that VAT shall be imposed prospectively. If in case the taxpayer is already VAT registered at the beginning of the year, then only the graduated tax rate shall be used in computing income tax due. Now for our last illustrative problem, can the taxpayer avail of the 8% income tax rate? The answer is no. This is because of the peculiarity of the business which is subject to other percentage tax under section 125 which is subject to 18% based on gross receipts. Take note also the nature of the 100,000 other income. In some cases, this could be subject to final tax already, therefore could be excluded in our computation. But for illustration's sake, I included it in the computation. And that's it. So let me know what you guys think. And if you have any questions, post them in the comment section below. So thanks for watching. So if you found this video very helpful, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. So this is Gerard. And I'll talk to you in the next one.